And a pleasant good day, everyone. Welcome to another edition of the Blitz Weekender Report. I am Willie Martin, affectionately known as Mr. Will. Well, I'm sure you feel that fervor going on all around you. It began last weekend on the collegiate side of things when you had LSU and TCU doing their thing at the AT&T Stadium, a game that LSU won decidedly toward the end by a score of 37-27. to 27. You had Johnny Manziel's return to Texas A&M for playing half of football, if you will. Big 52-31 win for Texas A&M. North Texas won big in their home opener and their one, I guess, 100-year anniversary of uh, Mean Green football with some dignitaries there, including Mean Joe Green. They had a big win by a score of 40-6. to six. And now this weekend, in fact, this particular day, we premiere the 94th edition of the NFL season in which... This day, the Baltimore Ravens and Denver Broncos will meet up. A rematch from that championship or a playoff game first round of uh, January of early this year when uh, the Ravens and Joe Flacco would burn Denver deep on a bomb to advance and become the Super Bowl champion. There should have been a home game for Baltimore, but the Orioles had a game scheduled at the same time, so they moved the game to Denver. And one side story this far has been all the banners of Joe Flacco in the city of Denver. Not exactly something that people want to see. If you're a betting man, Denver getting seven and a half points or giving seven and a half points. Uh, Broncos should win this game going away. This is not your father's Ravens team from 2012, I'll tell you that. Uh, Broncos should win going away. They look to be a lot healthier right now. Now this Sunday, you got the Cowboys and the Giants doing their thing. You like that song by Chicago, 25 or 6 to 4? Okay, roll with me on this. Jerry Jones, now in his fifth year, 25th year, excuse me, as a Cowboys owner, GM, president, name your title. You also have the Dallas Cowboys, who in 1965, 1966, 1986, 1985, 2007, and 2012 have played the New York Giants six times on opening day. All six times, the Cowboys have won. I know you're saying to yourself, yes, Mr. Will, but in Arlington at AT&T Stadium, the Giants are a perfect 4-0. and oh, There you have it, 25 or 6-4. to four. Personally, I'm on record saying that I think the Cowboys will make the difference happen defensively with some turnovers. Team Monty Kiffin, healthy bunch of people, Sean Lee making things happen. DeMarcus Ware and that 4-3 alignment going to make excitement happen up on the line. Giants are a bank a bunch. Their running game looks situational at best, and I do believe the secondary of New York is going to get picked on heavily by Dez and Miles, or as you're saying here locally, Miles and Miles of Destinational Pool. We shall see. 7.30 start time for that on NBC. TC has a home game this Saturday in Fort Worth against Southeast Louisiana. I'm going to be there for that. And uh, we've also got... Uh, a whole handful of college football games to uh, sink your teeth into in addition. I know the big game coming up is going to be September 14th with Alabama and Texas A&M. Say what you want about Johnny Manziel. He does make exciting happen. I don't care for him personally. I really believe that when the 14th rolls around, you're going to see Alabama do a little roll tide on the maroon out crowd that will be at Kyle Field for that particular game. In any event... That's what's on my mind for this particular moment. So glad football is back. Yes, the Cowboys should win Sunday night, 24 to 20. And with the rest of the story away from sports on this day and this weekend, September 5th through 8th, hope you all survive Labor Day weekend. The lovely Audra Stamp talking about things happening in North Texas from Denton all the way on down. For the birthday this week, happy birthday to you. And to the rest of staff here at Blitz Week to keep doing what you do. And more great stuff to come. Dallas Stars start their training camp next week in Fort Worth at the Convention Center, the 12th to 14th, 9 to 1. Check it out. Free attendance. I'm Mr. Will, Willie Martin. You can find me on Fishbowl Radio Network from 3 to 5, uh, doing the radio thing, podcast, otherwise hanging with Mr. Will, and the occasional written word on things happening here in the world of sports. Till next time. This is your Blitz Weekender Report, September 5th through September 8th. I'm Willie Martin. Till next time.